San Fernando Valley businesses say they'll be on the fast track out of town if a plan to expand Metro through their area goes forward. CBS 2's Craig Herrera is live in Van Nuys to tell us why. Craig. Well, Pat, it all boils down to where a maintenance field would be built. This in about four years, especially when we see a lot of construction on, on Van Nuys Boulevard from the Orange Link Station all the way up to San Fernando. There are new signs in the heart of the San Fernando Valley. No on option A. A lot of our, us will be out of business. No to one of the three options to build a maintenance yard and storage facility south of the Metro Orange Line and west of Van Nuys Boulevard to Sepulveda Boulevard. It's known as option A. American Dream started my own uh, company with my business and building as one and you know, so this is a little bit of a shock to us. Peter Schulz has been in business here for 30 years. Building the metro yard here would force businesses like his to move. I'm not against uh, progress, but not when it comes through the backyard of, you know, blue collar workers. There are 58 parcels in option A, but most are divided and have been sublet. So the Metro Board is not sure exactly how many small businesses would be affected. Guy Ronan would have to move beauty supplies out of a 7,000 square foot warehouse. Moving is, is, is expensive, it takes time, and then you have to start again. The project, a 9.2 mile transit route going from the Metro Orange Line station in Van Nuys, north along Van Nuys Boulevard to San Fernando Road, ending at the Silmar San Fernando Metrolink station. There are several options for the project. Run buses along the curbs or in the median. Build a light rail running in the median or possibly even a subway. If it's a bus rapid transit, the project will cost between $294 and $402 million. A light rail with no subway would cost $1.3 billion. We're specifically zoned, so there's nothing in within a five-mile radius that's going to take handle any of this uh, overflow of people that are going to be looking for spaces. No decisions have been made yet. Metro says they learned a lot from local business owners. The board says the community did what they were supposed to do. Speak up. And I just heard from Councilwoman Martinez's office and she tells me she's hoping that the Metro will look at an option in Panorama City. No matter what they decide, a decision could be made in January. They meet in January. They can opt at that point to either come up with a final decision or continue to look at the uh, where they want to build this maintenance facility. They also tell me that they are talking to more of the business owners and hope to come up with a conclusion before the start of the new year. We'll send it back to you.